Hey guys, Megan here. I just got back from one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls and I thought that I would show you guys what I got this time around. But before I do that, let me flip the camera around and show you my planner and all of the meals that I planned out for the next two weeks and how much I spent on two weeks worth of groceries at Aldi's. All right, so here is my planner where I plan out my meals for the week and um, I normally go shopping for uh, groceries on Saturday night, but I didn't do that this weekend because we were busy. So um, today we just had sandwiches and chips for lunch and we did our own thing for dinner. Dean will probably get home with the boys there at piano right now and have some leftovers that are in the fridge. So that's why there's not really anything here. Um, tomorrow we are gonna have chicken stir fry and rice. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna have wilted green soup and sourdough, so I can use up leftover greens that are in the fridge from last week. Um, Thursday, this is a meal that we pulled over from last week because we didn't get to it. Uh, we'll have Greek cod, which is fish, um, some crumbled cauliflower and butter couscous. And then Friday, I also pulled a meal from last week that we didn't get to, so that's shepherd's pie. And then Saturday, we will have sandwiches and chips or leftovers, it depends on what we've got for lunch, and stuffed peppers and veggies. Now, I don't normally write down lunch plans on here. I did on Saturday just to remind myself if we don't have enough leftovers to do sandwiches and chips. But normally, for lunch, we'll do a mixture of leftovers. Um, we'll do sandwiches sometimes. Sometimes we'll do nachos or baked potatoes or just whatever extra kinds of things that I have around the house that uh, we can eat for lunch. So that's this week's meal plan. Next week's meal plan is fish and sticks. So that'll be like uh, homemade potato, um, like homemade fries kind of things. Um, on Tuesday, we'll do pulled pork, slaw, and beans. And then on Wednesday, we'll do potato leek soup and sourdough. Um, on Thursday, we've got spaghetti, salad, and garlic bread. On Friday, roasted chicken and veggie bake. And then on Saturday, I have corned beef, uh, cabbage with mashed potatoes and veggies and then on Sundays we don't plan anything either because it's um, Normally our family pitch in meal at my husband's in-laws house We all get together after church and we pitch in a meal. So um, my sister-in-law makes a meal plan for that. So this is week two's meal plan and again, no lunches written down there now for this uh, two-week Aldi shopping haul I spent two hundred and forty dollars and fifty six cents that is on all of the groceries that you're going to see in just a second, um, as well as some extra things that I saw that I thought I would stock up on and refresh my pantry or freezer um, for things that I'm kind of running low on. So that's pretty good because a lot of times when I was shopping at um, traditional grocery stores, I, I could spend that in one week. So anyway, let me show you what I got this week. Um, okay, so here is everything that I got from Aldi's on tonight's trip. I'm going to, it goes over there too. All right, so I will take you through and show you everything. So put the fruit up front. I got some applesauce um, and we'll have that with like lunch or dinner sometimes, depending on um, if it goes with a meal. I got some mandarin oranges and some nectarines. And these are the only fruits that I got this week. And then I got some sweet potatoes, some red and yellow onions, two packages of green peppers because we're gonna have stuffed peppers at some point. Um, I've got a cabbage for our corned beef and cabbage. I picked up some mushrooms because they were on sale and I picked up some radishes to be one of the veggie additions to one of our meals. Um, I got some packages of frozen corn. They didn't have the organic corn in, which if they have that, I'll normally always buy that, but they didn't have it and I needed some corn, so I got those too. I picked up another can of coffee because we are on our last one. I got some coleslaw for our pulled pork and coleslaw. I picked up some dried peanuts. We have those for snacks sometimes. I got some um, cocoa because I'm running low on that and I picked up some vanilla extract because I'm running low on that as well. I got some strawberry jelly for the boys if they wanna have like bacon, eggs, and toast in the morning. Okay, so I picked up some raisins for snacks and I picked up some of this um, Simply Nature, not in GMO, pomegranate plum juice, and this cane sugar, which is an unbleached non-GMO sugar. I use the juice and the sugar in my water kefir each week. Um, so that's what that's for. I've got two of those because we use a lot of sugar for that. Um, for meats this week, I picked up some flounder. We're gonna, I'm gonna bread this up and cook this. I'm gonna bake it and then um, we'll have that with our fish and chips meal. Um, here's the corned beef brisket. Here is a pork tenderloin. 
tenderloin for the pulled pork and then I got this um, it's like a turkey tenderloin I'm gonna try that maybe one night instead of chicken if I feel like turkey um, I also got some jasmine rice I'm out so I picked that up my boys love jasmine rice they don't love brown rice all that much but they do like the jasmine I got four cans of crushed tomatoes they didn't have any tomato sauce except in really small cans so I got that instead I got some um, canned tuna and sometimes for lunch we'll have like tuna melts and so that's what that will be for and then I got some refried beans this is for our um, nachos nachos for lunch and then I got a red wine and a white wine vinegar because I'm out of these things and then I got some wine for the next two weeks um, I got some Italian dry salami and some Havarti cheese Set that upside down D and I sometimes like to have this and whole wheat crackers like mixed whole wheat crackers <laughs> as a snack sometimes I got blocks of cheese, different kinds of cheese. I'll shred this up and we'll use this throughout the week. I got some Caesar dressing because I used the last one in stock, so I wanted to get another one. And then I got some almond milk. I use that in my morning smoothies. I got four tubs of sour cream. This will last us more, longer than two weeks, but I stocked up on it anyway. I got some half and half, a couple gallons of milk for cooking. And usually I'll, I'll open one, and if we don't use it all for cooking that week, I'll let the boys drink it, but we're trying to not do too much um, milk. And then I got um, two little packages of mixed flours. Let me take you guys over here. I got a garlic bread for our spaghetti meal, and I got four loaves of bread. This will last us longer than two weeks as well, but it'll be for sandwiches or tuna melts or whatever that we want for lunch. And then these are the sourdough loaves that um, we eat with our soups. We usually have soup on Wednesday and sourdough, and everybody in my family loves this. And then I picked up some croutons, some tortilla chips for nachos, and Judah wants to try this rising crust pizza, so I picked up some different types of pizzas for a night when maybe I'm not home and it's dad feeding the kids. So that is it for my two-week Aldi shopping haul. All of the stuff that I got. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff left over in the freezer, in the pantry that we'll um, pull out and use as well. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got for two weeks for, um, yeah, for $240, 56 cents for two weeks. And that'll feed us pretty well. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this glimpse at my two week Aldi shopping haul this week. If you guys have any questions about anything that you've seen or anything that I've said, feel free to leave your um, question in a comment below and I'll get back to you. And I hope you guys have a great evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye.